Welcome to our latest Wondering Walks of Wonder adventure. Today we're headed to Bentonville, Arkansas for a nighttime walk on the historic Bentonville Square. Our walk begins in front of the old Walton store and the Walmart Museum. This museum has a collection of images, items, and information that talks about the history of Walmart and the Walmart family throughout the years. It showcases Sam Walton's life and leadership and how Walmart grew into the company that it is today. For a more detailed look of the inside of the museum, there's a video that you can look at on my channel that has a walkthrough of that museum. The history of Bentonville, Arkansas can be traced back to the early 1800s. The area was originally inhabited by the Osage Nation, who used it for hunting and gathering. In 1836, the Osage were forced to leave the area by the United States government, and white settlers began to move in. The first white settlers in the area named their settlement Osage. In 1837, the Arkansas legislator, legislature established Benton County, and Osage was chosen as the county seat. But the following year, the town square was established and the town was renamed Bentonville in honor of Thomas Hart Benton, a U.S. Senator from Missouri who strongly supported Arkansas statehood. Bentonville grew slowly in its early years. The population was only about 30 in 1838 and it grew to only about 500 people throughout 1860. The town was largely agriculture and its economy was based on cotton and tobacco farming. But the Civil War had a significant impact on Bentonville. The town was occupied by both Union and Confederate forces and it was the site of several battles. Not too far from here, about 20 or so miles away, the Battle of Pea Ridge was fought just north of Bentonville in 1862 and it was one of the largest battles west of the Mississippi River. After the Civil War, Bentonville began to recover. The population grew and the town's economy diversified. In 1873, Bentonville was incorporated as, as a town, and by 1900, the population had grown to over 2,600 people. The town had a city-owned light and water plant, and at that time was working on a sewer program. In the early 1900s, Bentonville continued to grow and prosper. The town's economy was boosted by the development of the poultry industry and by the 1930s, Bentonville was a major poultry, poultry producing center. As we walk in front of the Bentonville Courthouse, take a look at this classical revival style building that was designed by Albert O. Clark and built in 1928. The tre tremendous growth in B Bentonville began in 1950 when Sam Walton opened his first Walton's 5 and 10 store in Bentonville. Bentonville. This store was the beginning of what would become Walmart, the world's largest retailer. The opening of Walmart helped to transform Bentonville from a small town into a major regional center. Where there were just several thousand people in the town at that time, today the population is well over 50,000 people. In the years since the opening of Walmart, Bentonville has continued to grow and prosper. The town's population has pretty well doubled since 1950, and its economy continues to diversify. Bentonville is now a major center for retail distribution and technology. Not only is it the headquarters of Walmart, but it also is the headquarters for Tyson Foods, as well as J.B. Hunt Trucking.
either. building in front of us is the historic Eagle Hotel that's in downtown Bentonville. This was the site of a famous scene from the Battle of Pea Ridge that occurred in 1862. On the morning of March 1862, General Franz Siegel, who was a Union general, was eating his breakfast at the Eagle Hotel, which the original stood on this site. He had remained here with 600 men and a battery of about six pieces of cannon after the main column of his army had passed through Bentonville on its way to a camp in Sugar Creek. Confederate troops under General Van Dorn surprised him and forced a hasty retreat. In 1867, Siegel returned to retrace his route and remarked that he had come back to finish his breakfast.
much more work that last week, yeah. Okay. Well, that's what